Alright, I am currently running two prints at the same time. Uh, this is my Ender 3 Pro, as you can see here. It also says there uh, on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. But you will also notice, let me get the light up here out of the way. You'll also notice it's a non-heated bed. Uh, all my printers have a non-heated bed. You can see that right there. You don't have to take my word for it. Set points at zero, so that's room temperature right now. Uh, the nozzle's at about 207. This is silk, uh, silver, PLA. And this video and the uh, of this machine and the other machine will be more of a comparison machine as to how uh, this machine is set up and your machine is set up. But uh, let's go ahead and quickly look at it. These are stock original springs. This is the stock original hot end. You can see that for yourself. This is the stock original plastic extruder. You can see that for yourself. I mounted the filament here on the side. Again, you can check that out for yourself. And we're going to go ahead and you can see there's no wrap, no brim, no messy Elmer's glue stick or anything like that. Uh, it's just a clean print every time. And I'm going to go ahead and move now to the other printer. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are. Now this is the Ender 3 Classic. This is the basic Ender 3. And you'll see that here. It's 208 on the nozzle. And again, uh, zero heat on the bed. Never needed to heat the bed. Uh, this is this printer. Uh, this is the basic standard hot end right there. Bowden tube. Uh, the outlet. This is the original uh, plastic extruder. I don't know if you can see that. You will have to just take my word for it. Um, the uh, filament is right there, like the other one, like all my printers. Uh, this is the original springs. Okay, so basically what you're seeing is just a basic classic Ender 3 built as it was intended, assembled as it was intended, and printing as it was intended. So there you go. So I just wanted to share that with you. Again, no uh, Elmer's glue, no wrap, no brim, uh, no problems, so I guess, on either of the printers. And this is just a quick uh, comparison again for how this printer is printing now, how it is set up, and it's been running for the last five and a half years. Um, all my printers uh, combined have done well over 4,000 STL files, and never worried about the fans crapping out, or uh, the belts, or the extruder, or the springs, or uh, E-steps stay at 93. Uh, I mean, it's just a, a workhorse printer if you just leave it as it's supposed to be. Uh, verify how it's assembled, make sure it's correct uh, according to factory specifications, and this is how it prints. Uh, I've got many videos uh, as comparison or fact check um, uh, on my YouTube channel uh, as you'd like to watch. I mean, it's all, all verified uh, on uh, YouTube. So anyway, thanks for watching.